Less than two weeks after the big release of iOS 16.4, Apple returns today with a rare Friday release of iOS 16.4.1. Now this update was pushed out to those on iOS 16.4 or earlier. This is not going to be pushed out to those on the iOS 16.5 beta, of course, because you are ahead of 16.4. But anyways, this update includes a few bug fixes and also a very important security patch all of which we are going to discuss in this video, along with an update on the performance, the battery life, and what to expect next in terms of software releases. Now, Apple did also release iPadOS 16.3.1 and macOS 13.3.1. So we will touch on macOS here in a moment, but the iPad update is going to be the exact same as the iOS update. So let's go and take a look at the size of 16.4.1 and you can see for my iPhone 14 plus which was actually on 16.3 before this it came in at 2.11 gigabytes but if you're coming from 16.4 that update will only be a few hundred megabytes right under 300 megabytes on my 14 pro now as far as the new build number goes if we head into our settings general about we can see that the new build number is 20e252 and for the release notes it actually shows the release notes for iOS 16.4 and not 16.4.1, which is pretty interesting. But anyways, if we go back and check out the modem firmware, that is unchanged. It remains at 1.67.04, the same as iOS 16.4. All right, so now what's new here in iOS 16.4.1? And the first thing is a fix for Siri. So Siri would not respond in some cases. I had this a few times on 16.5 actually. So apparently this was on 16.4 as well. But if you did have issues with Siri just simply not responding, when you asked something that has been fixed in this update another fix in this update is related to the new pushing hands emoji so this is a new emoji that was just introduced in ios 16.4 and the bug here is that you were not able to change the skin tone so i have ios 16.5 right here and you will see that when i tap and hold on the emoji i do not get any other option to change the skin tone it's just that default yellow skin tone but now in 16.4.1 we are able to change that so if you tap and hold on that emoji you will see that you do get the different skin tones right there and this one i'll just do a darker version of black and you can see that we get these different skin tones to choose from and this is why some people including myself were saying that there are 31 new emoji and not 21 new emoji because there are five different skin tones per pushing hand so add 21 plus 10 you get 31 new emoji technically that were included with 16.4 or i guess 16.4.1 now now i did also want to talk about the weather application and if that is fixed in 16.4.1 or not so this past week the weather application went down multiple times for prolonged periods like 12 hours at one point and the widgets were just blank the information that it showed for the forecast was completely inaccurate it was just a mess this week it's always been kind of a mess ever since the dark sky acquisition for whatever reason but this past week was the worst i've seen ever so apple didn't mention anything in the release notes but you might see some enhancements here and so far everything looks fine to me i mean the widgets are working fine it's showing everything fine i don't have blank widgets and the forecast seems to be accurate along with you know the widget on the lock screen as well if i go over here so you guys are going to have to let me know if the weather application is better for you on 16.4.1 now i do know that apple fixes most of the issues server side but still we could see some improvements with ios software updates either with this one or updates in the future we also need to address the security patches in ios and ipad os 16.4.1 so the first one is an io surface accelerator bug and it says that the impact was an app may be able to execute arbitrary code with kernel privileges and what's important here is that it says apple is aware of a report that this issue may have been actively exploited it was patched with improved input validation but the next one is even more concerning because this is a webkit bug that was also actively exploited and the impact was the same processing maliciously crafted web content may lead to arbitrary code execution and the description was a use after free issue was addressed with improved memory management so i think this would explain why apple pushed this out on a friday especially for two very very minor bugs that most people probably did not care a whole lot about besides maybe the siri one i think these security patches are the real reason apple pushed this update out right now on a friday now as far as safari 16.4.1 you can see we have that same issue that's been addressed for mac os and what's interesting is that this was not available just for mac os monterey it was also being impacted on mac os big sur 
as well. And speaking of macOS Ventura, macOS 13.3.1 was also released today with a fix for not only the pushing hands emoji, but also for auto unlock with Apple Watch. So for whatever reason, that was just simply not working, at least not every time on Ventura 13.3. I had this issue, I use that every day with my Apple Watch Ultra, and it worked like, I'd say like 80 to 90% of the time. It was not like very constant, but there were several times where it made me put in my fingerprint or type in my password and it didn't register my Apple Watch. So that has been addressed. And along with that, we do have the same two security patches as well that we had on iOS and iPad OS, both of which were also being actively exploited. As far as the performance and battery life goes, I would not expect any change to the battery life. First off, I wouldn't expect any change from 16.4 and the battery life on 16.4 for me on all devices has been great. So I would not expect that to change with 16.4.1. Now, as far as the performance, you know, obviously it's too early to tell so far. I haven't noticed any significant improvements in just overall raw performance, but honestly, if I had to guess, I would not expect to see any change whatsoever in performance either. Just because we're only getting bug fixes and security patches, Apple isn't really touching any other part of the operating system. So I would not expect any type of gains in performance or battery life, or really any type of reduction in those categories either. And here's what I scored on the Geekbench 6 CPU test. So I got a 2240 40 on the single core and a 5341 on the multi core. So those are very similar to what I got on the previous version. I believe it was 16.3.1. I was on previously. You can see I scored a 2170 and a 4452. So it was actually higher here in both categories. But again, if you're going from 16.4 to 16.4.1, don't expect near as dramatic of a change in your Geekbench scores and also just, you know, day to day performance. I wouldn't expect anything major there. So now let's answer the question. Should you update to iOS 16.4.1? And I say that if you're on iOS 16.4 at the moment, there's no reason not to, as this is not going to change your experience at all, aside from patching up these bugs and the security patches. Now, if you have yet to update from iOS 16.3 or earlier, especially if you're on like iOS 15 still, I think now is about as good of a time as ever to just go ahead and update. I believe that iOS 16.4 was the final quote unquote big update for iOS 16. I think by now the iOS 16 software is pretty much as good as it's gonna get. Like it could get a little bit better with future versions, but right now I think it's pretty much peak iOS 16 in terms of performance, battery life, and especially when it comes to features. So I think if you've been holding off on updating, it's fine to go ahead and update now to 16.4.1, especially if you're on an earlier version, you will get access to those new emojis and everything like that. And then finally, let's talk about what to expect next from Apple. So next up, is most likely going to be iOS 16.5 beta 2. So if you are running the betas right now, whether that's the developer beta or the public beta, we should see the second beta for iOS 16.5 next week. Now, next week is going to be Easter. So we have Easter Sunday and Easter Monday. So I would not expect anything on, of course, not on Sunday, but also not on Monday. So I would expect to see 16.5 beta 2 on Tuesday the 11th. And as far as the final release for iOS 16.5, I would not expect that until sometime in May. It's hard to say at this point at what you know week in May, but I would expect to see 16.5 get released to the public at some point in May because the next month in June is when we're going to see iOS 17 beta 1. So that's going to be right here on June 5th. That is the first day of the Worldwide Developers Conference. I will be live streaming that here on the channel and I will be covering all the changes here on the channel as well. But we are gonna see that update right there on that Monday. And for those wondering if we can see an iOS 16.4.2, I say, yeah, nothing's really out of the question for Apple at this point. We still could see a 16.4.2 before the month of April is up, right before we get that 16.5 update. If Apple feels they need to push out something again, it's mainly gonna be related to the security patches more so than the bugs, unless it's like a really critical bug relating to like your phone calls or something. But anyways, there you have it. That is iOS 16.4.1. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, as always, I would appreciate if you give it a thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe so you don't miss future iOS update videos just like this one. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.